Hi, Mark Randall from the Open Design Project here. Today I'm going to do a, a little demonstration of the materials creation rules that were just created by some coding geniuses for this little project. What I'm doing is placing a smart part. It's a single inventor part that has a hundred potential bodies in it. Click on the Make Components. I'm going to select everything and then just click right through here. And there we go. We have 72 new parts in here. And you can see by their properties, they all have default as their material. So what this new rule does is takes these solid bodies from the single part there and uses the body color style to create a material once these are made into components. Let me make this invisible here. This is the set of parts that were just created and I'll make them an assembly real quick so that they can be moved around. All right. Now, if we look, all default, and we go to our parameters, and I got a iLogic rule called, or actually this is a parameter that calls several iLogic rules. that creates the materials from the colors that are in here. All right, it's all done. And now they all have a material associated with them. Pretty sweet. Now normally I would be placing and configuring the full set of cabinets and then I would go through this. It, it'll save tons of time going through each one of these and creating a material for it after the fact. It would take forever. Um, the next stage is to come up with a rule that will demote these parts into sub-assemblies. Right now this is how it's done. You just select it in the window. Create your new assembly. Make it invisible. And then go to the next This would be a face frame here. I haven't renamed any of these. No need to. So that's the process. Oops, demoted another one here, see? This should not be in there. Just shows you how much room for error there is in doing it this way. Well, that's it for now. I'll make another video as soon as this demotion rule is ready, which will pretty much 
make the uh, the entire eye cabinet ready to go. Then I'll pop it on the website for people to download. That's it for now. This is Mark Randa from the Open Design Project.